YouTube, how's it going? Today is Wednesday, October the 18th of 2017. Today I'll be giving you my week 7 picks for the NFL season. Again, these are my picks, just mainly going off of Vegas odds, um, going off the spread, the points that Vegas is giving you for each team that you pick. So again, another reason, uh, another thing right off the back, I don't like to pick divisional games, but I'll go ahead and give you those uh, picks that I think um, I think it'll be good. So right off the back, let's start off with the Thursday night's game. It's Kansas City Chiefs at Oakland Raiders. Uh, they're giving us a nice three points for the Raiders if picking them, and, and that's who I'm going with, the Raiders. I think that's a, some really good points they're giving us there. They're usually pretty close. Like I said, divisional game, usually stay away from those, but I'll give you that. Uh, let's go into the Sunday morning games. We have non-divisional game against the New Orleans Saints versus the Aaron Rodgerless Packers. Now, they are giving New Orleans Saints a negative six spread. I'd take that. Honestly, I'd take that. that that's not a lot of points they're giving the Packers there, so I, I'd really take that six points on New Orleans. The next game being at Carolina Panthers out at Soldier Stadium to face the Bears. And you know what? There's not a lot of points being given here, so this is Sounds like it might be a, a close game. Vegas is kind of throwing in the Trubusky effect. Trubusky or whatever the QB's name is effect in here. But I'm still going to take Carolina. No, they're taking away three points. But hey, I'll take those negative three points over Chi-Town's, you know, only one win of the... What, what, they have two wins? I'll take Carolina. The next morning game being Baltimore Ravens heading out to face the Minnesota Vikings. God, look at this. They're giving you five points to pick Baltimore. I'm, I'm taking those five points. You, you might think Baltimore's a bad team, but against, what, it's it's, it's not even Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford, uh, Teddy Bridgewater is not even in. He's not going to be available till next week, I hear. So I'm going to take the five points Vegas is giving me on Baltimore here. Ooh, Jacksonville Jaguars against the Indianapolis Colts. Colts, so this is a divisional game. I'll stay away from this one. Uh, the points... Don't look very promising here, but if I had to take a team, gosh, I would take uh, Jacksonville. I'll take uh, the minus three points. Uh, being they do have the returning quarterback from last year, um, they have some some good players. Indianapolis, I mean, they have Brissett. But I'm telling you, I bet you Vegas, <laughs> Vegas will reward you. You pick Indianapolis court, Colts in some way, but I'm sticking with Jaguars. The next divisional game, we have the New York Jets against the Miami Dolphins. So this is, uh, could go either way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the, the three points they're giving you on the Jets. Uh, just because, you know, Jay Cutler, he's very inconsistent at times. But then at times, he could be the best damn quarterback in the league. So, But I'll take the Jets. Just, just, just go with the Jets. I'm going with the Jets non-divisional game between Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. So they're going to give you three points for going with Arizona um, against the Rams. And you know what? I'll take that. The three points, that, that sounds pretty good. Uh, divisional game, again. I might have said non-divisional, but this is a divisional game. I'll take the three points. Uh, not, I would stay away from this if I was in Vegas, but I'll take it. Adrian Peterson, he kicked some ass last week. Sounds like a good game. Uh, the next one, Tennessee Titans against the Cleveland Browns. So they're giving Cleveland, honestly, a, a six points. That's that's a lot. That's that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Tennessee on this one. Uh, six points. I'll, I'll take the, the minus six. Next game, uh, it's still an AM game. Tampa Bay, a Buccaneers against the Buffalo Bills. Doesn't look like they have any kind of lines opened up yet. I'll check on that later, but. Uh, if I had to pick a team, uh, depending on the spread, I bet you it'll be around five and a half to maybe not even five and a half. It could probably be three points to three and a half. I'd I'd probably take a, a Buffalo in that game, not because they're at home. Just it just sounds like that'd be a better matchup for Buffalo there. Now going into the afternoon games, we have the Dallas Cowboys heading out to San Francisco, and I'm gonna take Dallas on that. Uh, just the minus six points, uh, I'm pretty sure they can cover that easily on the spread. Dak, the way he's, I mean, getting the team for all those touchdowns. I mean, their defense might not be that good, but who's San Francisco's quarterback? 
I really don't even know who, the, who their quarterback is right now, so I'm going to take Dallas on this. Pretty sure they'll cover that spread. The next afternoon game, we do have Seattle Seahawks facing the G-Men, and they're going to give you five and a half points for the New York Giants, and, and I'll take that. Not because of last week. Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the New York Giants. It's looking like they'll, I'm pretty sure they'll cover that or even just get within three points or, or some kind of dramatic ending. I'm pretty sure the Giants will take that. Another divisional game, Denver Broncos against Los Angeles. I would really stay away from this one. Uh, they're giving you one plus one point for the Denver Broncos. Um, that's that's really uh, that's kind of tricky. Uh, I think Simeon he hurt his arm this last game against the Giants. All of a sudden, towards the end, um, Philip Rivers. You know how inconsistent he is. But uh, if I had to pick a team, I'd go with the Chargers. Uh, just thinking this will come down to the end to some kind of dramatic play another afternoon game Cincinnati Bengals against the Pittsburgh Steelers I'm gonna take Cincinnati on this is the five points there that they're giving you usually a close game five points sounds like more than enough that they'll cover then we come to the Sunday night game Atlanta Falcons versus the New England Patriots oh Super Bowl right remember the Super Bowl how the Atlanta Falcons were winning all first half and then didn't score one point second half letting Tom Brady get another ring there so you know what I'm gonna take Atlanta with the three points here I'm pretty sure they'll go ahead and cover this um, it, it looks like it's gonna be a close game but I'm pretty sure Atlanta will come in and, and cover this easily then the Monday night game we have Washington Redskins facing their divisional rivalry foes of the Philadelphia Eagles uh, they're gonna give you four points with the Redskins and, and you know what I'll take that these games are usually pretty close. Um, four points is four and a half points actually, not even four, four and a half points. I'm I'm gonna take Washington there. That's that's a really good good points, but I think that's better than three being given three. I'll take the Washington and and really I, that's really all for week seven there. Hey guys, thank you very much for checking out my page. Uh, like I said, stay away from those divisional games. Uh, if you like what you saw here, go ahead and uh, subscribe, hit that little bell. Um, comment on here if you didn't like something here you hated my voice it didn't sound really good let me know I'll make the changes just so uh, you guys can keep coming back and watching my picks thank you very much and you guys have a good one